This is a video solution to NCRT exercise questions. Class 10 Mathematics, Exercise 9.1, Chapter Applications of Trigonometry, Concept is Heights and Distances. This question is question number 13. The correct answer given to this question in the NCRT textbook is incorrect. Let's solve this and find out the correct answer. As observed from the top of a 75 meter lighthouse from the sea level. This is a lighthouse, it is 75 meters high, measured from the sea level. The angles of depression of two ships are 30 and 45 degrees. If one ship is exactly behind the other, on the same side of the lighthouse, we need to find out the distance between the two ships. As we did with the earlier questions, let's quickly get started by drawing a schematic. AB is a lighthouse whose height is 75 meters. From the top of the lighthouse, at point A, we are observing at sea level two ships. The first ship is at point C, the second ship is at point D. The distance of the first ship from the lighthouse, let's give it, assign it a variable, let's call it as x meters. The distance between the two ships, CD, let's assign it as y meters. What we have to actually find out is this value y meters. What is the distance between these two ships? They've given us the two angles of depression. Angles of dip, angle of depression of the first ship, which is angle EAC, is equal to 45 degrees. The angle of depression of the second ship, which is angle EAD, is equal to 30 degrees. Let's quickly run through the approach that we are going to be taking and then get around to solving this. The approach, basically, we need to find out this distance CD, which is Y meters as we have assigned it. What is the data available to us? We have the height of the tower, which is equal to 75 meters. And we have these two values, the angles of depression of the second and the first ship. Now, what do we have to do? First step, let's find out in triangle ABC, the measure BC. And second, in right triangle ABD, let's find out the measure of BD, which is X plus Y. Step one, we have found out X. Step two, we have found out X plus Y. Finally, what we need to find out is CD, which is the difference between these two. Let's get around to starting so finding out this. So to find this out, we need angle in triangle ABC and we need an angle in triangle ABD. We have one of the sides in ABC, which is AB, and we have one side in ABD, which is also AB. So if I can find out this angle, we are almost done. Let's do that as first step. Right? Lines AE and BD are parallel lines. AD is a transversal that cuts through it. Therefore, interior alternate angles will have to be equal, which means angle EAD, which measures 30 degrees, will be the same as angle ADB. Or in other words, we can say angle of depression is equal to angle of elevation. Extending the same logic, we'll have angle EAC is equal to angle ACB, which is equal to 45 degrees. So we've got both these angles, one angle in triangle ABC, and we've got an angle in triangle ABD. Let's start with triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, angle ACB, which is 45 degrees, to this angle, AB happens to be the opposite side, and BC happens to be the adjacent side. The trigonometric identity that combines the opposite and adjacent side is tan theta. So let's find out tan of ACB, which is tan 45 degrees. Tan 45 degrees is always a lovely number to work with because tan 45 is equal to 1. So tan 45 is equal to AB divided by BC. Tan 45 is a 1. AB we know measures 75 meters. So we'll have to compute the value of BC. Cross multiplying, we know BC is also equal to 75 meters. So step 1, we have found out the value of BC. Quickly summarize it in a printed form. Going with tan 45, AB by CB, which means 1, which is the value of tan 45 degrees, is equal to 75 by X, or X is equal to 75 meters. So from this point forward, we can replace this with a 75. Let's move on to the second right triangle. Let's look at right triangle ABD. In right triangle ABD, to angle ADB, which measures 30 degrees, AB happens to be the opposite side. BD is the adjacent side. Again, we'll be going with same tan because we are working with opposite and adjacent. So tan of 30 degrees in this case, which is angle ADB, is equal to opposite side AB divided by adjacent side, which is equal to BD or DB. Tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3. The measure of AB is equal to 75 meters. The measure of BD is equal to BC plus CD, which is 75 plus Y. So this is equal to 75 plus Y. Let's cross multiply both these. So we'll have 75 plus Y is equal to 75 root 3. So we can find out the value of BD, but to find out the value of BD, we need to find out Y. If we have found out Y, we are finding out whatever we want to find out. So let's find out Y. 
y is equal to the distance between the two ships which is 75 root 3 minus 75 meters so we can simplify it as taking 75 as a term common outside 75 into root 3 minus 1 meters so this is the answer to the question quickly summarize it in a printed form we are going with tan of 30 tan 30 is equal to opposite side by adjacent side ab by db tan 30 is 1 by root 3 ab is a 75 we know bd is 75 plus y Cross multiply and solve for it, we'll get 75 plus y is equal to 75 root 3. Now we need the value of y, which is 75 root 3 minus 75 or 75 into root 3 minus 1 meters. What is that? That's a measure of y. y is nothing but the distance between these two ships. So distance between the two ships is equal to 75 into root 3 minus 1 meters. Supercharge your math quotient. Sign up today for online CBC math classes at online.maxtute.com. I'll repeat it, it's online.maxtute.com. And before you leave, check out the related videos and remember to subscribe to this channel.